Hello Scorpio, it's Erica here to do your November 2021 general reading. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Or if you have a lot of Scorpio or a lot of water in your chart, this may resonate. Cross watchers, it might resonate more for you than for your Scorpio. And guys, this is general. Not everything's going to resonate, so do check out your other videos and other placements for more messages. And even in a resonant reading, not every single message will apply. So only take those that do and discard the rest. And if you're interested in the relationship energies for November, do check out my relationship kit. That's uh, link is down below. I know many of you guys love that relationship kit, so I keep putting it out there. Um, it's where I do three special videos just for um, relationships for the month, if you're interested in that. So let's get started for you, Scorpio. What is going on for you in the month of November? And happy birthday to all of you November Scorpios. So we have the full moon in Libra, the full moon in Capricorn, the full moon in Taurus, and the new moon in Taurus. Oh my word. Okay. So, Scorpio, we've got a situation where you're wrapping up a major cycle of that has been um, where things have needed to, I'm hearing, come to fruition, come to balance, come to a state of solid solid solidity. That's not even a word. Something is meant, some ending is meant to solidify. It's like I'm getting this strong, almost like, you know when something locks into place and it's just locked into place? I feel like that's what's happening for you, Scorpio, with um, like something that's come to a conclusion in order for a new beginning, something solid that's about to begin here. So let's actually get the tarot involved and add to this story here. But we do have balance coming in, but you have a great chance for something positive coming your way, maybe career, money, is improving big time, new opportunities, new job opportunities, new business, all of that. So let's see what we have here is we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands. What we're thinking about it here is we've got the Chariot, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. What we're feeling here is we have the Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. You've got choices here, Scorpio, this month, big time. And spiritually here we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Death and the Rebirth card, and the Four of Cups. The bottom of the deck we have the Temperance card. So you're integrating the... Um, you're transitioning into this new life, Scorpio. And what we have here is that you've put a lot of effort into something here. And, and that's going to pay off. I feel like there's something here where... You have, you know, possibly moved on from something. And maybe you put all your effort in that you could. And you've moved on. Because it's the right move. And then it's like, it's almost like you may have given up on something, Scorpio. And then boom, it comes in at the end of the month. Where it's like, and even if you, you know, you might not have given, you might have given up on something and then suddenly that something comes to fruition with a new beginning, or it's just something even better than what you've left behind. Because how we're feeling here is we're definitely making choices. 
trying to make some decisions. I feel like if you've moved on from something, um, you might be starting to wonder if you did the right thing. And you're not really sure. I think there's something about you maybe trying to take charge of your life, but then you're sort of wondering, did I make the right decision or not? Did, was moving on the right decision or not? But there's definitely an integration here. So let me get another layer and add to this. So what is going on here physically with this Eight of Pentacles? Gets the Ace of Swords, the Emperor gets the Queen of Wands, the Lovers gets the Eight of Cups, and the Magician gets the, the Four of Wands gets the Magician. So there's a manifestation here. Your hard work is definitely paying off here, Scorpio. And for some of you, this is where you have possibly thought about that which you want. Maybe you've even walked away from it. Um, or you're walking away from something in order to pursue, your, to, to pursue your dreams and then something manifests. Something manifests. I think that you have clarity about the direction you're going, Scorpio. You're gaining confidence here. For some of you, you may be walking away from a relationship or you're walking towards a relationship. But there's a manifestation at the end of the month. Something that you've manifested. Why do you have the chariot on your mind here? Okay, so we have the Two of Cups and with the Knight of Cups and the Devil. Queen of Swords gets the Empress. Well, we have the Emperor and the Empress here. And the Emperor again with the Page of Pentacles. So what we've got here is we're clear that we want an abundant new life. But we're trying to figure out. We decide to make a choice. There might be something coming in with both the Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Knight of Cups. This could be love for some of you, a partnership that's manifesting. This could be somebody possibly um, right when you want to let go of something, it comes in and it surprises you. But you're feeling here, gosh, wow, Four of Wands again. Seven of Swords gets the High Priestess. Two of Pentacles gets the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> Two of Wands gets the Fool. Ten of Pentacles spiritually here. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords gets the uh, Four of Pentacles. Death gets the Four of Cups. And right next to the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups. Okay. All right, guys. Here's what I'm seeing. There's an opportunity being presented here that you're going to have a choice about Scorpio and you're going to have to decide, do I want to take this chance to be happy or do I want to close it out? Do I want to cut it out of my life or do I want to start it? Do I want to choose this or do I want to walk away? Is this my chance for success and happiness, maybe love for some of you, or do I not? Because you have, there's a chance for rebirth here. There's a chance for coming back around. Maybe there's something here that you moved away from, but it wasn't quite the right time, Scorpio, for it to manifest. And all of a sudden, the moment you've walked away from it, suddenly it manifests and suddenly there's an opportunity. And you might be doubting, is this sincere or not? And this offer of love, maybe you're offering love. Do Or do I open my heart to this or am I just going to get burned again? I don't know. I don't know. And so you're deciding and you're trying to figure out if you want to trust this, uh, this decision that you're making, because what's happening here is um, you're afraid of heartbreak. You're afraid of disappointment and maybe something didn't work out before. And now you might be getting offered something really powerful and magical that's manifesting here, but then you're afraid that you're going to be disappointed again. Or if you choose to walk away, you're going to be heartbroken. And if you walk away from it and you ignore it, then you are you may just decide like, or be stuck in indecision. You might realize that you're kind of disappointed not taking the opportunity, Scorpio. In fact, let's get a card on this devil with the Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords. Yeah, because something comes in and maybe things went too quickly or maybe there was communication from the past that's coming to the surface here and you're not sure if you want to open up to this because you don't really know what's going on. 
Does this person really want to come together? Is this going to be something that's going to work out? Two of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles gets the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, there could be somebody um, coming back where maybe there's been a past history with them. Maybe it's someone you worked with before and now you're going to work with them again and you're like, I don't know if I want to work with them again. Maybe this is a past partner or someone that maybe things didn't really get off the ground with before because it wasn't the right timing and now they're, you just when you've walked away, maybe you've started something new. And all of a sudden, this person shows up and you're like, oh my God, you're showing up now. Why is the emperor here with the page of pentacles? Yeah, like, I kind of don't know if I want this. I'm probably fine on my own. Why is the fool here? Yeah, because you're kind of in this place where you've been guarded because of your past wounding and you're not, you don't really want to be naive here. And so you're kind of sitting back, but spiritually here, there is success. Wow, you've got ten of pentacles in the spiritual um, row here twice. Before there wasn't, it wasn't supposed to work before. Something It wasn't quite ready before. The success wasn't ready to happen before. And it's like you kind of don't want to see this opportunity because you're, you're holding on to the past. Maybe you're afraid to open up to the future. With both the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here, I have this feeling like, no, I, I don't know if I want to open my heart to this. I don't know if I want to start this again. I don't know if I want to revisit this again. But what we have going on here with this Four of Wands and the Magician is there is a there is a manifestation here. Oh my God, it's so funny. I just saw it at the bottom of the deck when I started shuffling, and here it is again, the star. You're aligning with your destiny here. This is something that's meant for you, Scorpio. And why do you have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords? And the Two of Wands. Again, you have a choice. Do you walk away? Because you're afraid to open up, do you go for it or are you going to keep yourself in your fear? Are you going to, you have a choice to make, Scorpio. Do you go for it or not? So let's see what major lesson you're learning in the month of November. What lesson is Scorpio learning in the month of November? Achieving clarity in my relationship. Okay, so I know this is a general reading, but this is a relationship message. Now, if you're watching not for a relationship, this will apply to friendships, family relationships, work, co-worker relationships, anything that it applies to. So your major lesson for November, Scorpio, is to remember that even the best relationships have low points. And if the low point is the norm in my current relationship, I may have to consider if I wanted to continue. Yet if the low point is temporary... I will practice understanding. I know that I will achieve clarity and make the right decision. See, so that's where you have a choice point. You're going to have a chance to decide this month, Scorpio, is this worth giving it another try? Or is this time to put this to bed once and for all? So let's get the guidance for you, Scorpio. What is the best guidance for Scorpio for November 2021? We have resilience. It says there's no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. And you have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So one step at a time, Scorpio. You don't have to force it, rush it, jump to the end of the... Um, jump to the conclusion right away but you have the determination and patience to handle what is whatever's happening and take things as they come but you don't have to rush or push so scorpio powerful month for you here um but ending up where you have a lot of success but this is about do you you're going to be successful either way it's just a matter of your individual situation, your individual circumstances. Um, you're going to know through your um, discernment whether something's right for you or not, but you just allow it to happen. Be, be patient. Allow things to unfold in their natural pace this month, Scorpio. Until next time, I send you love. Bye.